Good evening guys and thank you so very much for tuning into my channel. Um, I hope everyone is keeping safe out there. Um, thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel and who have not yet subscribed, kindly um, considering doing so. I will very much appreciate it. Also, um, big thanks to everyone who have liked and shared my video, all the comments and feedbacks I've been getting. Thank you so very much. You could go ahead and click on the right hand corner of my screen. There is a bell. Uh, when you click on that, you will begin the notification every time I upload a new video, so you won't miss out on any of my video. Okay, guys, so thank each and every one of you who have not yet subscribed. Kindly do so. I will very much appreciate it. Um, on my Facebook page and also in my prior video, I have mentioned that I will be um, showing each day from um, April 27th through the end of May. Um, each day I will be cooking a meal showing you um, how you could go ahead and budget yourself and you could make these meals between $10 to $25 to feed a family between 4 to eight, um, 12 people okay so what I will be doing is um, I will be making meals um, every single day for the next 30 days showing you how you could um, make a meal under um, between $10 to $25 to feed a family of 4 to 12 people. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that is due to the coronavirus and everything that we have going on in the country and around the world. Um, there are a lot of us that are suffering right now and um, feel very helpless. And I just want to do this video to show you that... Um, you know that it doesn't take a lot of money to make um, delicious meals you know and um, I know a lot of us like to eat out and we cannot go out and eat out right now so you could um, at this time you could take this thing that you have right now and you could go ahead and try to learn to cook you know there's so many millions of videos out there um, that you could find if you want to cook anything and you don't know how to cook it, there's so many million videos out there that you could go on YouTube or Google and you could find and it will walk you through step by step how to make these meals. And um, it's it's very, very important right now that everyone should learn to, you know, at their home, learn to do some sort of um, cooking and preparing their own meals because we don't know when this will be over yet, you know. And there's so much going on right now. And they're so it's so expensive right now and some of us cannot afford to eat out and you know we're suffering right now so it's best if you start cooking your own meal home and cut back on um, cut back where you could cut back on and try to um, do the best you can until things get better I know you know it's it's hard to just say it but you know come on we all have to come together and try to do the best we can until things get a little better and get back on track you know so guys today what I'm going to show you this meal that I'm going to be preparing here today the entire meal is going to be um, that I'm going to be preparing could feed between 4 to 12 people and it just cost me $25 to make this meal Okay, I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's true, guys. It's a delicious, delicious meal that I'm going to be preparing here today. And it only cost me $25 to prepare this meal. And I could feed a family of 4 to 12 people. Okay, so what I'm going to be making for you today is um, a dish that we call in the Caribbean boil and fry or um, provision boil and fry provision okay so what basically it is is it's a combination of some ground provision that we steamed and sauteed in onions and garlic and scallions and stuff like that and it's a complete dish that you could eat and you could be so it's so filling guys that you'll be amazed how much $25 um, can give you it could feed between a family of four to twelve okay so this is what I'm gonna be making today it's called um, provision boil and fried provision we called it in our country or steam provision whichever you prefer it doesn't matter what it consists of it consists of um, plantains arrows yam 
cassava, some of us know it as yucca, um, sweet potato. Um, you can put anything you like in this, any ground food that you like, okay? So in my dish right now that I have here, I have green plantains, which um, I went ahead and I slice in half and then cut it back in, in half. So each plantain, I, I slice it so I can have four pieces. Okay, then over here I have my yucca that I cut up into chunks and um, some people know it as cassava, some of us know it as yucca. Okay, then I have my edo, it's something like yam or sweet potato, you know, it's, but it's edo. So it's a very delicious ground food and I have that that I cut into chunks too. Also, I am going to be putting... Um, sweet potatoes and um, two different types of sweet potatoes. I have the yellow creamish sweet potato and I also have the white sweet potato which I cut up here and I will be placing this into my dish too. And over here I have some sweet plantains, sweet ripe plantains that I have here which I am going to be putting into my soup too, okay? So all of this guys that I have here, I have a total of three sweet plantains that I cut up that cost me, guys, two dollars. Three sweet plantains, okay? Then in my dish over here, my yucca, two large yucca or two large cassava that cost me two dollars and fifty cents. And then I have four green plantains that I cut up here that cost me two dollars for four green plantain. Over here I have my sweet potatoes, three large sweet potatoes that just cost me two dollars and ninety cents guys. Okay? So all of my provisions that I have here guys cost me about a total of twelve dollars max. Okay? So it cost me nothing to make this meal. It's just twelve dollars and I got all of my provision here. Okay, and then my garnishing which combine of my um my scallion, my um my onions and um my garlic and stuff like that, that cost me nothing, basically nothing. It's about five bucks and I paid for so my entire meal today is gonna cost me to less than twenty five dollars to make guys. Okay, and it's going to feed a, a, a total of between 4 to 12 people and you might still have leftovers. Okay, so I want you guys to start thinking about this and start trying to make your own meals. You know, you go out and you eat out, one plate alone will cost you between 30 to $40. Okay, you don't have to do that guys, at least not right now. Things are very, very hard. Who can afford it, I understand. But who cannot afford it? It's better you cook your meal rather than going out and eat out at this time here. You know, there's so many, many, many people out of a job right now. You know, and these are little things that you could do to make by until it gets better. Okay, guys? So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I have a large pot here which is a 14 quart pot and I um, three quarter it with some cold water okay so what I'm gonna do I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna add my provision to my water okay so I'm gonna add all of my provision here my plantains my yucca my edos my yams everything I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add to the pot here and then I am going to steam this or boil this until it's tender, alright? And after everything is tender guys, then I'll go ahead and I'll show you the next step how to prepare it with the onions and the scallions and the garlic and the tomatoes and uh, all of those goodies, okay? So first you're going to do, you're going to steam your, your provision here, you're going to steam your plantains, your edo, your yucca, yam, everything that you have here you're going to steam it until it's tender okay guys so i'll go ahead and i'll show you this step by step so bear with me and um 
I'll show you how to make um, boil and fry provision or steam provision. Some of us know it as. So bear with me, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add everything to my pot. And you want to put um, two tablespoons of salt into your pot. Put it on high heat and let it boil until or let it steam until everything is tender. And after it's tender, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna strain it. Strain all the liquid out from it and then um, I'll show you the next step, how to prepare it, okay? So this is our first step. Our first step is to steam our provision or boil our provision until it gets tender, okay guys? So bear with me. Okay guys, so now I am going to go ahead and I am going to show you the second step of this boil and fry provision. So now I'm going to heat up here in my pan and if you notice I use a bigger pan. Um, because it's a lot of provision here, so I need a bigger pan to fry it up with my, my um, scallion, onion, garlic, tomatoes, so I need a bigger pan, so I went ahead and I put a bigger pan here with three um, tablespoons of olive oil. Um, so I'm going to wait until this is heated, and then I'll go ahead and show you the second step of how to prepare the um, boil and fry provision, or the steam provision, whichever you want to, um, you prefer to call it. But it's basically the same thing, okay guys? So it consists of plantains, arrows, yam, sweet potatoes, yucca, and um, sweet plantain, okay? You can put any type of ground, um, ground provision into your mixture here and you can make it, okay guys? And you can have this with um, curry, you can have it with stew, you can have it with just eggs, um, you can have it just like that. Um, Whatever you want to eat on it, guys, you can have it with, okay? You don't have to have anything to eat it with, though. And you can have it with salt fish, stew salt fish, um, stew chicken or beef, whatever it is. You can have it with steak. You can have it with whatever, guys. But today, I, I am going to make it with um, eggs. So I'm going to show you how to plate it and everything. But this entire meal here, guys, it's going to feed a total of 12 people or more. And it cost me less than $25 to make this, guys. So come on, guys. You can do it. You guys can do it. Cook your own meal. It doesn't take no time at all. If you don't know to make something, Google it. Go on YouTube. There's millions of videos showing you how to cook. Whatever you want to cook, step by step, guys. We have to start making our own meal, preparing our own meal. Things are getting very tough out there now with this coronavirus that we have going on. We have no idea when it's going to be over or if it's ever going to be over. Um, we're hoping for the best in the coming days, but we have no idea, guys. No one have any idea what's going on right now. So I urge that each and every one of you, things are getting very hard now, guys. There's a lot of us without a job right now. There's a millions of people who has been laid off and don't know where the next meal is coming from i understand that we like to eat out guys but come on we can do this we can cook let's try to prepare our own meal okay it's cheaper to do it this way all right guys so into my oil i uh, which is heated up here i am going to go ahead and add my onions my scallions and my tomatoes okay guys First, I'm going to add the onions and I'm going to let this saute for about two to three minutes into the oil before I added the scallion and the tomato. I'm going to let this saute for about two to three minutes. Guys, I am going to add. Um, I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And one teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. I'm going to give this a toss. I'm going to let it saute for about 2 to 
three minutes, just like that. Okay, right now you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your scallion and your tomatoes. for about a minute or two. You don't want it to mush, you just want it to marinate like for a minute or two. So to my um, onion, garlic, tomatoes, scallion, I am going to go ahead now and add my provision which I have here in my yucca, which is fully cooked, steamed. And I am going to add my plantains, my yam, and all the other goodies there. And I'm going to give this a toss by. Remember guys, you don't have to put any salt into this hair because you already steamed your provision with salt, so you don't have to go, go ahead and put any salt there, okay? When you're steaming or boiling your provision, that's when you're putting your oil into the pan, so you don't have to go ahead and do that. That's enough um, for your provision here, okay? So you're going to go ahead and you're going to give this a complete mix, make sure everything is tossed with your seasoning. I'm going to let it fry for about two to three minutes with the seasoning. We're going to make sure that all of it is mixed thoroughly. This looks so good, guys. Okay, you're going to let that cook for about a minute or two until everything is marinated into your seasoning and then you're going to go ahead and turn it off and I'll show you how to plate that okay so just bear with me one minute until it's marinated into all the seasoning the scallion, the onions, the garlic, the tomatoes um, all of the seasoning you're going to let it marinate okay guys I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a toss Oh, this looks so good and smells so good. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, at this point, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my stove off because this is completely finished. And now I'll show you how to plate it. Alright guys, so this is how you're going to plate it. You're going to get your yucca, your yam, your sweet potatoes, your sweet plantains, your tomatoes, guys so here is your finished product and I did put two boiled eggs there which you could go ahead and eat it with your eggs and that is your boil and fry provision or your steam provision so that is it right here guys I hope you enjoy this video I hope you will consider um, starting to cook home now that um, some of us are home and we're not actually working so I hope you'll consider, um, start learning to cook, who do not know to cook. I hope they'll consider learning to cook. Cooking is not hard. If there's something that um, you would like for me to show you how to make, just drop me a comment 
um, in this video drop me a comment and tell me what you would like to see me make and I will go ahead and make that for you but let's all um, try to start making our own meals um, at home guys it's cheaper it's more tastier and you know exactly what you're eating and this entire meal cost me less than $25 and I could feed a total of 12 or more people guys come on we all can do this let us do it let's start preparing our own meals guys okay thank you for watching thank you for all your comments thank you for all your likes and share on my videos um, there's a right hand corner there's a bell on my right hand corner kindly go ahead and click on that so you will be getting a notification whenever I uploaded a new video also um, thank you for subscribing who have not yet subscribed kindly do so I will be very much appreciated and um, tomorrow I will be showing you another dish how to go ahead and make another dish to feed a family of 4 to 12 under $25 between 10 to $25 okay guys so tomorrow tune in and you will be seeing another video that I will be making um, something delicious under $25 okay to feed a family of 4 to 12 people thank you guys have a great evening and see you again until next time